Hey everyone, hope that you're doing well. Wanted to wish you a happy Thanksgiving and the beginning of the Advent season. Hope everything is going well. Uh, again, I'm Michael Deutsch. I'm the pastor at First Baptist Church in Alexandria. And it's my joy and pleasure to be serving on the board and to bring you this week's manna. We just had Thanksgiving. I don't know if you had a full table or just some items on the table, but have you ever called everyone to the table with nothing on the table? Have you ever said the blessing with nothing on the table? Have you ever gone to a restaurant and you order your favorite dish from that restaurant and they're out of it? Can you imagine what that's like? I know I wouldn't like it. I wouldn't be happy about it. But it's reality. It happens. Or the service takes a long time and you're, you're grumpier and hungrier as the night wears on and, and as you're waiting for your food. Now imagine you're Jesus. You're with the disciples and you have a crowd with you. And I want to read you a story from Matthew chapter 14. And I want you to think about what happens here. Because this is a remarkable prayer of what Jesus prays. We're in Matthew 14, and this is beginning in verse 15. Now when it was evening, the disciples said to Jesus, This is a desolate place, and the day is now over. Send the crowds away to go to their villages so they can buy food for themselves. But Jesus said, They need not go away. You give them something to eat. I love when Jesus does that. How he throws that to the disciples. You give them something to eat. And they said to Jesus, Lord, we have only five loaves and two fish. And Jesus said, bring them to me. Then he ordered the crowds to sit down on the grass. And taking the five loaves and the two fish, he looked up to heaven and said a blessing. I love that. Think about what Jesus did. He was calm. He was collected. He didn't panic that, oh, we're out of food. Oh, what are we going to do? Five loaves, two fish, 5,000 people, and there was going to be leftovers. But what does Jesus do? He prays a blessing. Lord, bless this meal. Bless the food. Bless the people. Think about what he's doing. Think about how we react in our lives when something goes wrong. Jesus has five loaves, two fish. But he gives a blessing anyways. Why? Because he trusted in what the Father was going to do. He knew the Father would answer his prayer. And so Jesus broke the bread. And he gave it to the disciples to pass out. And everyone ate and everyone was satisfied. And they took 12 baskets full of the broken bread as leftovers. Think about it. Think about that kind of a prayer. Praying with confidence. And so I want to challenge you in, in just the most difficult of times. How can you pray? with confidence? How can you pray believing? How can you pray expectantly, expecting God to answer your prayers? Today we talked in church from Luke 1 about the different Christmas characters, and today we looked at Zechariah. And when the angel Gabriel meets Zechariah, he says, the Lord has heard your prayers. Well, Zechariah and Elizabeth were old. They were no longer able to have children. But God had heard their prayers from long ago. And he was responding now because the time now was right for them to have their son, John, the Baptist, the one who would usher in the Messiah. Don't give up on those prayers. If you're praying for someone to know Jesus, don't stop. Don't give up. Keep praying. Know that the Lord hears your prayers and he will respond. So that's my thought for the day. My thought for you for the week. Whatever you're going through, 
good, celebratory, not so good, trials, tribulations, losses, grief, triumphs, victories. Continue to pray to the Lord. Lift your arms up and pray to the Lord and know that he will bless you. He hears and he will respond. Hey, folks, have a great day. Have a great week and God bless you.